What's up, king and queens? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, welcome, welcome. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I am going to show you guys how I did this install and also style this hair. Please go ahead and keep watching. Let's get into it. All right, right here, as you can see, I am just cutting the excess cap off. Um, that's after I removed my clients off the blow dryer. What The only thing that I did previously was Put the cap on, spread the makeup that matches the skin tone. And then I spray that um, area with got to be glued yellow, got to be glue yellow spray. And then I set her under the blow dryer. Pretty much that's all that I did. And yeah, keep watching so you guys can see the whole process, okay? My client wig is a full lace. Um, funnel. So with that being said, I cut, I did the same thing I did to the back, the same thing I did to the front, to the back. I spread the makeup in the back as well. And I cut the back very clean, just like I did in the front, just so I make sure, um, if she decides to put up her hair on the ponytail, it will look good. The glue that I'm using is Boho Active. Um, I did four layers today. Um, pretty much, I just spread it with my um, edge brush all over the hairline area and wait for it to be completely cleared. And I apply my, you know, my following layers until it's completely cleared. And I go ahead and lay my lace fronts. Okay, just like I um, clean up my hairline with alcohol um before i apply my glue i do the same thing to the back so that way it could really glue down because if it have any oil or a lot of sweat it can prevent the lace from being molded to the glue so you want to make sure you clean the area before you apply the glue Alrighty, so now i'm doing my second layer um just spreading the got to be and i start my layers in the back until i reach the second or third layer okay because what happened is while i'm putting because the first thing we're going to lay down is the front of the lace so in the meantime we will give the back some time to clear it up before we go ahead and start laying the back of the lace front. So I did four layers in the front and two layers in the back. So I start my first layer in the back once I am on my second layer in the front. All right, while I'm waiting on everything to um, clear up, I am applying my makeup. The same makeup that I use on the cap, I'm applying it on the lace. That way the lace could really match the skin tone. Um, and then once I see that it's completely cleared, I will go ahead and start laying my lace front, okay? Remember, you always want to start from the middle and then you go to each side and having your client to help you down and using a ragtail comb and just comb through that lace so you make sure that it's being melted down. You hear melt down.
Alrighty, after sitting her down for about 15 minutes, I now take her off the blow dryer. Look how nice it is looking. It's looking very laid. And I'm just combing through to make sure there's no hair underneath the um the lace front. <laughs> but yes, and then I'm going to go ahead and create some baby hairs. Yep. should already know from my last video i do not use scissors to cut off my baby hairs i use razor comb or um eyebrow razor and i just cut it as short as possible depends on how your client wants it you feel me some people want a lot of baby hairs but she wanted natural and i want it to really look natural as well so i'm cutting it as short as possible and if i need to add some more i will go ahead and do so while i'm melting it down with the mousse Listen, do not come for me about my ashiness, okay? Like, please don't. <laughs> Y'all girl, put some lotion on before I even started this video. By the time I'm done, I'm already ashy. I have dry skin. Live with it, okay? just forming my baby hair again you have to be very light-handed um just take your time you pretty much already cut them so all you have to do is shape them exactly how you want them to look See, I was, um, as you're combing through, if you notice anything that's a little bit longer than your previous one, just grab your razor comb and comb them. Make sure they're, they're looking the same. I know they're not going to be like the exact same size, but just work through them and make sure that this one is way big and this one is small and this one is like everywhere. You know, just take your time. You got this, girl. So I have my client under the blow dryer for about 20 minutes and now I'm just removing the wraps. Um, that way I can go ahead and clean up the baby hair, comb them through with the edge tool and cut them if necessary and making sure everything is even and ready to go. And then I'm going to go ahead and style her hair. Okay. Once 
once I done um, combed them through, I go ahead and apply a small amount of got to be glued around the edges. Please do not apply the got to be glue on your lace. Just a little bit. Do not put a lot. Like seriously, just comb them through very lightly. It helps the baby hair last longer. Alrighty, so now I'm going to go ahead and style this hair. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create this part and flat iron the back. And I'm doing a, a braid going straight across. Just keep watching so you can see this beautiful style, okay? tutorial i am going to go ahead and unmute the next clip so i y'all can hear and so y'all can see in here how happy my client was y'all she loved her hair oh my god <laughs> girl you better act off <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and again, of course, subscribe and follow me on IG. Oh, I'm even joking. <laughs>
Back to what I was saying before Price you thought it was a great idea to get on my back and start choking me. Yes, you guys. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on IG at Excellency Beauty Shop. Y'all gonna see the name down below. For real. For real, for real. Follow your girl. Yeah, blessings we are reaping, we coursing on full. Oh, in a rise and boast.